Hey guys. So, what I'm doing in this video is I'm going to be actually doing a review of the um, a very Backstreet Boys Christmas. Um, I only listened to it um, like the day it came out, and uh, so I haven't heard it since. But Natty hasn't heard it at all, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a um, a fresh review from her, and then a one-time only listener. So uh, what we're going to do is after the song, after each song is done, we're going to tell you our thoughts. And uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for what our opinions are for each song. Okay, so we finished the first song. Okay, I'm going to ask you first. What did, what did you think? It was no right away. I don't like it. I had the same, I had the same opinion. Um, the first song, White Christmas, as soon as it started, I was, I was annoyed. And it didn't end. I was just, I remained annoyed for the rest of the song. So if, if you want to give it a rating, do you think, do, do you think we should do a rating from uh, 0 to 10 or 0 to 5? What's easier for you? 5. 5? Okay, zero, 0 to 5 then. 1. I'll give it a 1 too. Admittedly, um, admittedly I didn't like the song. <laughs> okay, so we just came back from song 2. Um, right off the bat, I'll go first because you went first last time. Right off the bat, I liked this song a lot more. Um, you know, it was, it was nice and mellow. I felt like the background vocals um, played well, nicely with everything else. Um, I think I'm going to give it a, a three and a half. Stars? Rating? I give it a three. You give it a three? So, like, uh... I just don't really care about that song in general, so... Three three would be average. I guess. So, for, for me, I would, I would put it um, a little bit above average. Yeah. Or Winter Wonderland. Two and a half. Two and a half. I'm on. I'm on the opposite end. I give it like a four. I felt um. It was high energy, which I feel like uh, maybe that's why you didn't like it. The the doom ah, and whatever. I also have retail drama. I don't like most Christmas songs. Well, that sucks. <laughs> um, no, for me, uh, I thought it was fun. Um, I thought I thought the the vocals were pretty cool. Um, something that I find kind of interesting was uh, I listened to a live version of this and uh, at Brian's party did this funky run that I thought was really cool and uh, the fact that this uh, song featured him singing like lower vocals which seems to be easier on him um, he was able to perform it very well and then I, I found in the real song he didn't actually do that that little run thing that I really enjoyed that he did live um, but yeah no for me though that, that was like a four and yours like a two two and a half, two and a half. Okay, well, at least you got the half. So, song three. That was four. Did you give it a four? No, that was song four. Oh, song four. <laughs> but is song four a four? Mm, it's probably a three. A three? I think I'd give it a... I want to say I'd give it a three and a half. Three and a half. It's like a... You know, I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it. Um... I did like the mellow, the mellow vibes and like the smooth harmonies and stuff like that, but uh, you know, it's 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 not a song that tickled me to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna listen to this song over and over. So yeah, for me, three and a half, and yours was three. 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 The last song was Last Christmas. Did you go first or did I go first last time? I went first, I think. Okay. Um. I don't really like it. <laughs> What's funny is that's uh, the first single off of this album. Um, I don't really like it. Um, something something that it, I, I'm, I'm already um, underwhelmed about is the fact that all of these songs are... Um, most of these songs are, I guess, Christmas classics or whatever. But the problem that I have with them is... Um, they are covered over and over and over. And what tends to happen is once it's covered so many times, it's like you run out of ways to recreate it and make it like different or whatever and put your own spin on it. But I don't know, I just, I didn't really like it. I didn't think Last Christmas was as, uh, that catchy to me. What do you think? I didn't like the way they sang it. I'd give it like a two. I don't like the way they chose to cover it, I guess. Yeah, actually I, I would give it probably a two also. It, it just wasn't my thing. Did I go first last time? I think so. I can't I keep forgetting. Um, the last one was A Holy Night. 
Okay, what'd you think about that one? I like... <clears throat> it's not my favorite version of it, but I liked it. Probably give it like a four. Oh, well, my favorite version is obviously the NSYNC one. I don't know if you remember that one. It was like a really intricate acapella. That's um, still not my favorite, but... <laughs> A holy night. Um, I think I give it like a three. It was like, it was all right. It was all right. Um, again, oh, oh, you know, overall, I'm not, uh, I'm not being tickled that much. I feel like my brother liked this uh, album a lot, but um, I don't think I like it as much as he does. I think this, this song's like a three to me. Again, like um, maybe a three and a half. Um, I kind of liked it. I mean, it was smooth. It had like some harmonies in there, and um, I felt like it was well performed and stuff. But I don't know. It just it just didn't tickle me as a song that I wanted to like listen to over and over. That's kind of how I uh, I dictate things. Is if I want to listen to it again, like immediately afterwards, and I don't feel that. So I don't suppose you do either. No, I've <clears throat> it's just a bunch of redone songs that I have better versions of, or I didn't really care about in the first place. I think that was the first song that had a fade out at the end. Um, this Christmas. Um, is this a song that you like generally? Uh, it's one of the overused retail songs, so I'm kind of meh. There are I've I've heard versions of this song that I actually did like. I don't think I like all of them though. Um, I think that one was again. That one was like uh, okay to me. I, it was uh, we are introduced to another. Uh, Upbeat. I feel like there was a, a good number that was, um, we did have at least, we did have a good handful, I think, already that were slow. This one, uh, um, This Christmas was, uh, I think, like a 3.5 to me. What about you? Probably a 3. A 3. It was okay. Yeah. Yeah, for me, when I say 3.5, it's definitely above okay. There were there were a few times where I was like, yeah, I know I like this part of this one, you know. But um, again, I don't I, I don't I didn't feel uh, tickled to the point where I just instantly want to listen to it again. Um, I did kind of find that kind of like annoying. I did find that kind of annoying. Anyways, I don't know. Maybe I preferred that part being music or something. But um, as a vocal group, I guess they chose to. Uh, creatively do it that way, which, you know, I kind of respect it, but it didn't tickle me that much. Um, same old Lang... How do you pronounce that? Sign? I think so. <clears throat> so I think... I think that the name of that is what that end of the song was. Because that, that the part at the end is like a classic like song that people sing on New Year's kind of thing. You never heard that? You know that one? I think, I guess so. Um, I feel like that song was a three and a half. I feel like I've been giving it a three and a half. It's just slightly above average. I don't feel like listening to it again. <laughs> I give that one a four and a half. Four and a half. Natty likes, um, she tends to like... If the, if the song makes you feel cold and um, kind of uh, uncomfortable, then Natty likes it. She likes she likes somber, dripping wet kind of music, like uh, as if like it, it, it makes you feel like you're in a dark cave or something like that. Those are the kind of songs she likes. So that one may have had a little bit of that somber, kind of cold with a touch of fear, kind of vibe. <laughs> Not that <laughs> dark. It's also not overused. Yeah. Um, like, I've heard all these other songs a million times at work, every day. So. I guess you could say the song wasn't, like, um, to me, it wasn't, uh, it was slow, but it wasn't lullaby-ish, if you will. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was okay. I bumped myself. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm gonna let you go first. Um, I think I give it a four. You give it a four? Yeah. Hey, that's positive. It was in the green. I like silent. Okay, how'd you like? Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he objects. He doesn't. He thinks the people upstairs are noisy. Um, 
Okay, so you give it a four, huh? So you like you like their rendition? Okay, so I I. I think it wasn't as good as they hyped it up to be, but I think it's like better than other versions I've heard. I actually I give it a four too. I actually, this song I actually did like. Um, I kind of I did like the theme of how they kind of started off with minimal harmonies, and then towards the end, they have they give you kind of this burst of energy where there's more intricate vocals and stuff. And the ending was really pretty with the uh, with with the uh, vocals as it's um, tuning out towards the end. Um, I would give this a four, and uh, I would actually I actually think I would want to listen to this again. Actually, this one this is my first uh, four, um, and I feel like this is my first um, like I genuinely like this song. Like the other ones, like slightly above average. It's like yeah okay. But it's not a, I'm definitely going to listen to this again. But this is uh, I, pr I probably would. Yeah. All right, I'll be home for Christmas. I hate to ask again, but uh, did I go first last time? I don't know anymore. You don't know anymore? Okay, you go first. I feel like it was me. Uh, I give it like a two and a half. Really? A two? I'm on the other end of the spectrum. I've never really liked that song, to be fair. Actually, I, I feel like this song is very whatever to me usually, but I actually l really liked this one. Um, I'm, I'm still not reaching that like five level, um, but definitely a four. Um, something that I like about this, um, something I do like about this album, and maybe even particularly this song, is that um, Backstreet Boys often has very straightforward pop vocals. And uh, it would seem that they have more creative freedom to sing like runs and riffing a little bit um, which I think is cool. This song I do think I would listen to again. Um, maybe not itching to listen to it again like right away but um, I definitely do want to come back to this and have a go with headphones on. The ending was pretty again just uh, just like the last song. Um, yeah I liked their effort on this one but you only gave it a two. Maybe a three but like... Maybe a three? Yeah definitely a four for me. Okay, so the last one was uh, Christmas in New York, and uh, this is actually um, another of their singles. And uh, I'm glad they made this one a single, because I actually think this one was a very nice song. It's an original song, so contributing to the Christmas list um, of this year's Christmas. Um, what did you think? I, <clears throat> I give it like four and a half, and I give them props for making an actual original song. I think I give it a. I'm gonna give it a four, not even a half. But I, 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 I did enjoy it. Um, I do think I want to listen to it again. I did actually. Um, I saw that they came out came out with a music video, and I did watch it then, and I did uh, have headphones on, which um, I do think kind of helps with uh, my judgment on stuff. But um, even just listening to it out loud on my laptop here on my left, no, I thought that that song was quite good. Um, I felt like they were very expressive with their vocals. And I'm glad this one is a single, but sadly it seems like this is the only other single, um, at least so far. I would like for them to put out another single, and um, it is the next song that's going to play. Um, so, okay, so you, you four and a half, mine's a four. Um, I think they did a good job on that. Okay, I want to ask you what you thought about that song. Uh, it was a very you song. It's a very know. B song. <laughs> yeah. It was a very Mark esque song. It was just less so my taste, but it was very you. Yeah, so um I'm gonna give the song a five. And the reason why I give the song a five is I think it's so freaking catchy that uh, I actually I have this is the only song uh, that uh, well I've I've chosen not to listen to the album really, but um but I have chosen to listen to that song and I have been listening to it over and over actually. Um, this is the, uh, this is the one song on this album to me that sticks out, I think. Um, I just find it really catchy. Um, it's an original song. The, um, like, even the instrumental, like, sticks out, in my opinion, um, out of all of them. Um, I feel like a lot of the songs, unfortunately, kind of have a similar vibe. You know what I mean? That slow Christmas kind of feeling, or, like, even the songs that were a little bit, faster they all kind of had that 
toasty, jazzy feel to it. But this one, um, I felt like had that pop appeal that I do like and that I feel like is signature to them. And uh, yeah, I give this song a 5 because the reason why I give it a 5 is because of the re-listen to um, ability, I guess you could say, um, for me on this one. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a 5. I, and I think this song should be a single, and they wrote it. So I think I really feel like um, I really feel like bands and artists need to add it to the catalog of what may end up being classics, or even just to add the variation um, to the radio. Do you think this should be a single? Uh, yeah. I give it like a four and a half. I thought wait. Oh, we give it a four and a half. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I give it like a five. No, for some reason, the way you were speaking, it was like you didn't like it that much. It's not my taste, but it's. Do you agree with what I said? Like, it, I feel like this one stands out among yeah. the other the other songs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the last song was uh, "Happy Days." Um, I thought the song was okay. <laughs> Actually, I, I might give it a a, a slightly above okay, uh, three point five. <coughs> Oh, bless you. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna give the song a 3.5. Um, I feel like I do have a willingness to listen to it again. Um, I'm not sure if uh, it tickled me enough where I felt like like I don't I don't feel like the I don't feel like the the chorus was that catchy. Like na 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 yeah, no, it, it did have, I, feel, I felt like the the melody kind of had a tackiness to it. Um, that that was a little bit much for me. That's I think that's the reason why, but I did like the upbeatness of it. Um, I mean, the harmonies were attractive. Um, but yeah, I think I might give this a 3.5. I give it like a 3. A 3? Okay. Well, okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's think about this for a second. I want to know. I want to know what we truly thought of this album. Um, just off the top of my head, I do feel kind of underwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually do feel kind of underwhelmed, and it's 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 hard because um, I, I think my brother talked about this. But the In Sync album, for example, that um, that album was the bomb, man. Like that was an epic Christmas album. Um, the songs I felt like were really well done. You had um, a number of originals. And uh, I felt like um, each song, or a large number of the songs on that album, stood out on their own. And even though it, like, it still kept that kind of, um, um, it kept that um, Christmas kind of sound. But even like Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, like, well, a that song has become a classic. I mean, it's 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 even had like PTX, for example, covered in it. I and I hear it on the radio. Um, but, uh, I mean, that song was definitely a pop song, but still had a Christmas feel, and, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a poppin' song, what can I say? Um, this, uh, this album, the, m one of my main critiques, and I think Natty shares the same critique, um, I'm very underwhelmed at the fact that, like, just the entire album from beginning to end is almost completely, um, just covers. And that disappoints me because the truth is, although Christmas is my favorite time of year, um, listening to Christmas radio can get really tiring. I mean, even even Natty, like she works in retail, and she's already like she's tired of it, right? I think there's a lack of, um, I think there's a lack of not only um, original songs but songs that have a modern flair to it because a lot of these classic songs are just like old, and it just sounds like old. And I do think we need a touch of the new that we are lacking a bit. Um, although, if you if you were to actually um, listen to like Christian radio stations, um, there would be more of a variety because um, you know there's a lot more Christmas songs out there, but it has more of um, religious connotations. So you get you do get more variation in that regard. But um, for like mainstream radio, um, I do think there is a lack of that, and um, I feel like this song, or sorry, this album could have uh, contributed to that, you know? And that was something that I was looking forward to um, from the beginning. I really wanted original. 
I do I do have to say like I do think this uh this album was underwhelming for me. Um Christmas Interpretations by Boyz II Men or even the 98 Degrees album like these uh vocal group albums I just felt like were just better than this one. Um and I feel like um a a, a large portion for that for me is I do feel like um a lack of originals uh b some of the songs just kind of sounded the same like it had the same vibe and uh to me um you know together and happy days were the ones that were like just so blatantly different and uh i i do think that's kind of a bad thing i think i think yeah you know having like very stereotypical sounding christmas songs is is exactly what you need but also a handful that just completely stand out and I feel like I feel like a large portion of these didn't really stand out that much um, but uh, on the positive side I do feel like songs like Christmas in New York and um, together um, it was very worth making those songs on this album and uh, at least at least they have a song like together that um, has completely uh, it's a song that moved me enough that I would want to listen to it over and over so um, the battery's gonna die soon, so do you have anything, like, last words? No, I just think, <clears throat> if they were gonna do an album of covers, it should have been, like, really unique. Like, when Pentatonix does covers and it's, like, a fresh take on stuff, because this sounds like everything that I already hear at work, like, every day, so. Okay, well, I think that's a fair assessment. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys feel like my rating wasn't fair. I think my brother gave it a higher review than I did, but that's just my honest take. So anyways, let me know. Thanks for watching.